welcome back to another episode, guys. It's it's race day again, so uh, we're back trying to do the spring scissor again. It's Friday, currently around 11 o'clock. Um, rolled in this morning, did some stuff around the track, but nothing crazy. Just uh, polishing up the open car right there. Polishing up, and then we got to roll it out the door and down to the trailer. So follow along today as we race both the Open Mod and the Sizzler 100. And then we'll also be racing the SK Modified uh, 40 laps tonight. So it'll be our first night race of the year. We uh, had to make some fixes to the car during the week. Uh, some repairs. We had a bent, bent clevis, some bent chassis uh, parts. So we just had to replace those. Um, nothing too crazy. Rescaled the car. Just went through it, found a little power steering leak. We think it might be because I bounced it off the wall so many times at the front end that it just blew a line out. So we, we got that fixed. Uh, so the SK is already down in the pit area in the trailer. Uh, the pit gate's open around 2.30. Yeah, around 2.30. Um, so I just, I'm just, like I said, just polishing up the tour car. We'll get it on the ground. We, we're trying to set up our our uh, scales and uh, levelers earlier this week. Uh, we'll be using those when we get into the new shop. So we're just getting getting familiar with them, trying to figure them out. Um, so it's just sitting up on those for now. We'll get it dropped onto the ground. Probably just push it down to the pit here because we can't, can't try this one after, until after we heat up the oil. So looking forward to another good night. It's a little chilly out, so definitely different different temperature wise the track's probably gonna be a little bit different uh, so I'll be finished polishing the tour car up and then we'll probably have to go clean off the track one more time just blow it off um, just get all the dust off of it before we open up the pit area so follow along today this might be two episodes because there is two races one's 100 laps and one's 40 so last week's episode thank you guys for watching all everyone that did uh, last week episode was pretty long and I want to want to try to split them up so we don't have a really long video so I'll, I'll make two videos out of this probably uh, thank you guys for commenting and uh, let me know what you guys think about the video that's awesome comment like I said we're just blowing off the track getting all the grass clippings off and everything uh, there's some rubber nothing crazy um, but these past two weeks we uh, planted some new grass along this apron here and uh yeah so remember a couple videos ago i was talking about all the rubber on these cracks so you see it's it's still built up a little but it's much less than what it was um so that was what sizzler saturday that was when we dragged the tires and it was, it was real bad so it, it smoothed out quite a bit but one thing that's nerve-wracking is i mean these are some original older holes that popped up from when asphalt came up but there's some smaller ones now like this is the worst spot in the whole area so these three but there's some smaller ones now that keep popping up like this one right it just takes like a layer of asphalt up right where the crack would have been and all the rubber just builds up and when the i'm pretty sure it's when these open mods with their soft compound come over them with the horsepower they got, they just spin it right off and break it off the track. So I remember, uh, couple the Saturday portion of the Sizzler videos the dual race remember when I said all the tow trucks are working hopefully they last a weekend well we, we jinxed ourselves this one works the blue one in the infield smoked blew up all done tried to find an engine for it not worth the effort so we went and got uh, found found one on online for sale on Facebook marketplace 
for not much money and that one's gonna be in action tonight so hopefully that one lasts it's going gonna get put through the ringer and then what else happened oh sizzler saturday the uh i haven't shown you guys the uh, pace car yet <clears throat> that thing's a a hoot front calipers decided to start to hang up brakes were locking up starting to glow starting to smoke had that happen a couple years ago and the rotors actually caught on fire so that was pretty cool so we on saturday the pace car got put out of commission and then rick to carly saved the day sunday morning and napa auto parts had a caliper in stock i think they just had one so we the pace car just has one caliper one front on it for now and plugged up the other one but yeah so i gotta stop jinxing jinxing ourselves but fueling up all the remaining vehicles that we got two tow trucks and a push truck all right so it is now one o'clock i got the track all ready gates are gonna gates are gonna open up in an hour or so but i figured since we're up here i parked my truck up here i'm going to show you guys the progress on the uh the new shop it's right here we're getting there so this side over here is going to be where uh the race cars are got lots of space we have to do uh make some the garage company has to come back out and uh fix some things and raise up the rails because it kind of lost our ceiling height when the rails are that low but here we are this is going to be our uh, our new home looking forward to getting in here and getting everyone here to work on the cars for the year it's going to be exciting to be in our own place looking forward to it but for now we'll head on down to the pit area both cars are down there and we'll uh, start the day it's going to be two rounds of practice in both sk and the open mod and then straight to features no heat races today because there's the addition of the sizzler 100 lap race so we don't have heat races and we're just going to go straight to features just me and alex mounting the tires for race day Open. Trailer's still rolling in. Got a lot of cars. Got everyone here today. All, all the divisions. All right. I'm going to show you guys a little, a little visor change. Right. So this is our. Uh, our one way is so when we're racing daytime, right, we throw a dark visor on to kind of help us with the sun glare and driving into the, straight into the sun, especially here, going into turn one, it's vital. So uh, this is the visor we used uh, at nighttime. You can see it's kind of see-through, right? And then this is our, this is the dark visor. You'll see it's a lot a lot different so it's a lot a lot darker it will help with any glares or anything like that definitely it's like wearing sunglasses pretty much the same thing so just changing that out for practice uh, practice it's sunny out right now probably we'll leave that on for the open race Guess what finally came in the mail, delivered this week. Look at that, just in time for the, the makeup of the race. It's a new fire suit, Alex. And so I've been waiting, I've been losing sleep over that. I mean, now I won't smell as bad, at least for one race. Let's see if I can. Oh, it looks just like the other part. <laughs> Did you get her? I mean, it's very different. 
So we just finished first round of Volt SK in open car. Having problems with the clutch in the open car, so in a bit of a rush. Get the clutch chain, it's been slipping, so we gotta get that chain dropped. Take it apart, get that chain pulled in, we're get it done in time for the future SK with good, so we just gotta go out one more time for practice with that. But take it apart, then good. the bad discs right here so I'll show you guys that. Can you see that? There's smoke. I guess I'm pretty bad on the clutch. Kinda hot still. Nothing left to them. So maybe that was why we were slipping uh, on the starts. I don't know. Maybe that's why we were spinning the tires so much. Hopefully but we're getting it fixed. Todd's down there which is awesome. Thanks for helping me. Anthony's over there. Flannery. Alex. Uh, we got Cam McDermott, he came over from uh, Woody's crew to help out. We got six people doing it, so I, I guess I could lay on the ground and rub their backs and help them out. Uh, but just, we're just gonna get it done, hopefully. Seems like we should be able to definitely get it done in time for the feature. I don't think we're gonna make it out for next round of practice for sure, but yeah, that's a big problem. Luckily, we caught it. spinning my tires on the start but really it was the clutch flipping all along so it's been like that so it seems like a little while okay cars off be ready be ready bring your good everyone's rolling right in line with you two by two all the way top jam and keep rolling go out there Out there. Don't be so nice here. Go out there even. Bottom jamming a little bit. Everyone's rolling. Everyone's rolling. Still out there. Got half a car further. You can move up on the straightaways, man out there, just the 11, 47 in line with you. Still out there. Clear. Take cars up, be ready. Ready, green, green. Everyone's rolling. Still out 
Still in there, two by two all the way. Yellow's out, yellow's out, yellow. Just for reference, he's at the line now. laps out. One racket, the racket in three and four. Check up, check up, check up. Hey, 
Okay, guard off. Are you ready? Are you ready? Great, go again. Everyone's rolling. Clear. Back outside, the one. Uh, he just blew a tire. Here, clear. Racket, racket, check up, check up, check up. Go low, 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 one inside, one inside. All right, you're clear of that. Dave, is it possible to put that thing in high gear under caution to see fuel consumption? Already been doing that. All right, go ahead, double up. Hey, car is off. Be ready. Are you ready? Trigger good. Everyone's rolling. Check up, check up, check up, check up, check up, check up, check up. Go, get rolling. Roll. We're still green, still green. Still green, yellow. That was the five, you just need to check up for the yellow. Forty-four, right with you now. You kill a bomb, he gets you on entry. Back up, low, 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 low. <coughs> low, red. We're going red. Red. On the car right now. Those two right sides. Are they? Did they go out the same? Roughly. All right, abort that. We'll just pit for a left rear. Put the left rear on. We'll save our right sides for after. I can't see. Sorry. Face guard off. Be ready. Be ready. Great, go again. Everyone's rolling. Still in there. Clear. Back in there. You're clear. One right with you. Push it, peek it. He's in there. You're clear. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Be ready down there. That works out. Car stops at the bottom of two. Three. Yeah. <laughs>
right, so we just we just finished the uh, Sizzler long race. Survival in the beginning there. Lots of bumping and banging for, I don't know, where are we, 20th? Don't know what the heck we're doing that for. Chopping across noses. Not needed. Um, got into back of the set. I thought he like checked up a little and like moved up the track and they got in the brakes and just like my front bumper just got underneath them and jacked them up. Didn't mean to do it. Uh, but he wasn't too happy about it, which I'm sorry, but that was not. That was the least of his problems. I think he was having other issues too. He had major damage. I mean, I just tapped him around early, so we were already in the back. Long race came in after what, five cautions, came in, put a spring rubber in, make a little adjustment that helped me survive. We were playing, trying to play a different tire strategy, and it worked, definitely. And we came in pit with everyone to put our left rear on. Went out there, and we were hoping maybe go 20 laps, maybe 30. We went like six. Caution came out. Pump? Did, seriously, you just... All right, so obviously it's the next day. It's Saturday morning now, just finished cleaning up all the garbage. I mean, there's still a little bit left to do, but got a couple guys here to help me. Came in at 6.37 or so and started cleaning up. We have uh, Rusty Walls racing experience today. They're out on track. Just back one in the fence, that's... Oh, check that out. They got a modified. Heck yeah. So yeah, next day, uh, overall, just wanted to like take a take a night and think about what how how the day went yesterday. And uh, overall, I mean, it's on us for what happened in the Sizzler. We should have, I guess, I should have known to sit at the end of pit road and wait for the field to go by and then join the back end. But it's uh, pretty cool to know that we had a fast car and our pit strategy worked, um, even though we didn't technically finish fifth. Right, I did let the whole field go by and then I started passing everyone so we drove up to fifth still. Which in the end I thought I finished fifth, but obviously at the end of the day we did not. <clears throat> we ended up 14th, I think. But like looking at the lap times and everything in that last run, we were running competitive times with the top three. Uh, Silk was a lot faster, definitely. I mean, he's top, top of his game, that whole crew is, that whole team. But we were very close so if if things played out differently which i hate to say like, oh what if this happened but if we were able to get start at the back end of the field with everyone else when they restart happen after we change our tires instead of being trying to figure out if we were a lap down or not i think we could have maybe got a podium finish which would have been crazy um but what it could have should have should have could have what is it should have could have would have Monday morning quarterback, Saturday morning. Overall, I mean, the car is fast, which is pretty awesome. Uh, before we came in for the tires, I was already in my head, I'm like, well, we live and die by the sword, right? And we didn't pit for tires because we were gonna save them. And the, the right sides were gonna last 100 laps, which is kind of crazy. I maybe would have picked a couple more cars off, but caution came out when we came in pit, so. I mean, we'll chalk that up as big learning experience, obviously. Maybe call it a fifth in our heads. It's not in the record books as a fifth. But overall, we passed cars, which was great. Everyone saw it after the race. Everyone thought I finished fifth, too. So a lot of people were congratulating me on a good finish. Um, but yeah, we didn't actually get it in the record books. But overall, people, people saw we were fast in the end, which was cool. Pit strategy definitely helped a lot. Um, so with that, thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what you think. Uh, if you guys want to see some other, other videos or anything else, maybe this week we'll do a little shop stuff because we got to work on the SK again. So thank you again. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.